because I think they're about ready to start screening already. What? They're about ready to start screening. Oh, no. So, yeah, so I speed it up <laughs> for a couple more minutes, but I just want to do uh, Well, oh. I don't know. There's so much to tell, and we don't have enough time. Uh, I was oh. basically just trying to finish up by saying that um, I, I finally tried to get an agent. The agent treated me very poorly. I finally was able to get to the director, Don Siegel. How did you do that? Was this the famous cocktail party bluff thing? No, the, the true story, and it's worth hearing so you know what it's like. I called this agent, he says, okay, I'll read it. He said, send it to me, it was self-addressed stamp of envelope, and, and I'll read it and, and see what happens. So I didn't have the money to, to spend on a lot of postage, so I just walked it over to his office two blocks away. <laughs> Handed to the secretary and said, you know, I said, I'd rather, I just, just gave this to you. If you don't like it, tell him to call me, I'll come back and get it. He walks in the office at that minute and he says, who are you? And I said, well, I just talked to you about this Alcatraz script. So he says, give me the script. So I handed him the script and he handed it back to me. And he said, now take this home and mail it back to me. And I thought, if this is what Hollywood's going to be like, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, thank you very much for this extremely brief interview. Now, let me just quickly say, I'm going to ask you on this one thing, is that I know you're in a, uh, a Los Angeles movie theater, but try to imagine that you're back in the early 1960s, and you're on a boat, and you're going out to Alcatraz, because that's what I was thinking when I wrote this movie. 